signs a new contract at Aston Villa until 2027. This news is coming from the GOAT, David Ornstein of The Athletic, and I am absolutely buzzing by this news. And I feel like, since I put the Unai Emery picture up in the pod, I've manifested some and it's come true. So King Unai is in my building, and he's in our building at Aston Villa to stay until 2027, and I am absolutely over the moon with it. So smash a like on this episode, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to this channel if you are new. There's been a bit of buying, buying this, buying that. Potentially, are they going to come in for him? We've heard various talk sports, Man United, but in my opinion, I've been unfazed by it all. I've been firm on what I've believed, that Unai Emery is here to stay at Aston Villa for the long term. I've even had the questions asked to me on the overlap about him as well, potentially to a different type of club. And I've always stuck by what I've thought. And Unai Emery is here to stay. He's here to stay. He's at a club that he loves. And the biggest thing for Emery, and it's something that we've spoke about on this channel numerous, numerous times, and I've spoken in the comment section as well, Unai Emery has full control at Aston Villa, and he will never get this much control at any other football club that he, he goes to. And it is the resemblance of Sir Alex Ferguson at Manchester United. He was the, the Don at United. He ran the show. And Unai Emery is doing the same thing at Aston Villa. And it's it has to happen for Emery to be successful. Emery's gone to different clubs. He's gone to Arsenal. He's gone to, to PSG. And he's not had that level of control. And when you're starting to bring in your key like people, like, you know, you want to bring in Vidagani, that's out running the show in between the manager, the owners, and, and Monchi. And then we start bringing in Monchi as a recruitment policy. Like, that only has longevity to me. That's not a short term, yeah, I'm here just for a couple of years to see if I can win something in the Premier League, and then I'll go to a, a, a so called bigger club. I think people sleep on Villa. And people are, people from the outside are sleeping on what's actually happening inside our football club. And when we hear these throwaway comments from the media of, oh, Emery, what, he, he won't, you know, you can't turn down United, you can't turn down this club. But if you don't understand what's actually happening at Aston Villa, then those comments are just, they just don't resonate with me and they don't resonate with Villa fans because until you understand the bigger picture of what's happening and where this club's going and the ambition of this football club, you know, and I, I keep saying, you know, especially on the overlap that Aston Villa, we're only in our infancy with, with Unai Emery. We haven't even got started. The project has just, has just, it's just got going. Yeah, it hasn't even got motoring. We're not even in like, the, the the middle of where we want to get to. And I think in January, we started to see the recruitment policy coming in. And we haven't had a recruitment policy for, for, for years. So the recruitment policy, what that does is that adds longevity and that adds a pathway and that adds a future outlook on what Aston Villa can become and what we're striving to get to. When you're in the early stages of signing players and you just want not a short-term fix, but you want the here and now, the here and now is fine. And the here and now will get you through a season or two, but it's it's not the longevity of, of a, a recruitment policy. And it's not a vision of a football club. Having the recruitment policy where you're signing young players, you're nurturing them, you're sending them out on loan, you're having a couple that are, that are pushing the first teamers, that's longevity and that's a pathway to the future of what Aston Villa will become. But you can't have that if you don't have stability. 
So with stability, with a, with a manager that you back and a manager that you want to see for the long-term future of your football club, you can have this policy for the future. And it, can you see that everything is starting to entwine and come together and build and grow together? And it's stability as well. So stability of Unai signing this new deal gives the owners and the club a sense of a sense of what's the word I'm looking for? A sense of calmness. Unai brings calmness, but they're going to have that calmness that they can just carry on their motion. And they are back in Unai and this plan and this vision and this vibe is just absolutely massive. And, and for, for us, the fans, to know that we've got Unai till 2027. And I'll, I'll read you the article now of where it's coming from. So, David Ornstein has said, Unai Emery commits future to Aston Villa by extending contracts as boss until 2027. Spaniard happy at Aston Villa, plus club intend to sit down in the summer to prolong the deal further. Owners see the 52-year-old becoming their version of Sir Alex Ferguson. Boom! Have some of that, man. Have some of that. Oh, Villa fans, I'm buzzing, man. I'm buzzing because you guys know at home that I absolutely love Unai Emery. Like, I, I love him. I, I, I've done a, I've done a short a couple of days ago mentioning how he's changed the way I watch football. He is just incredible. And I've seen this Unai becoming our version of Sir Alex Ferguson and for that longevity, and I 100% believe it, I 100% believe it, and me as a fan, I'm looking at Villa, and I'm thinking, wow, like, last season, we were in near the bottom of the league, and then now, he took us into the Conference League, and what I've seen him do this season, in the Premier League, in the Europa Conference League, whatever European competition we're getting next year, like, he's got the keys to Aston Villa, and I, I love him. I absolutely love him. And I think this is huge for Aston Villa. It shows massive, massive ambition as well. And I think players looking at Villa, like we are a football club that you will want to come to. If Unai, if Monchi pick up that phone in the summer, I don't think you turn it down. You do not turn Aston Villa down in the summer because of where we're going. And I think in the past we've had like, yeah, we we want to be in Europe. We want to take Villa back to where we belong. We want to do this. And players could have probably looked at Villa and thought, yeah, you're saying it, but I can't, I can't see it. You take one look at Villa now and you're thinking, wow, like, look at this club. Look at this fan base. Adidas, kit supplier, like, for the fans. And you're looking at... the the players we've got and what he's... And even you're looking at a player now and you're thinking, he can improve me. He he can make me better. So if, if we're looking at a good player who's like, uh, could be an elite player, Uno will make him even better. So I've got to say, I've been sat here this morning and I've been doing a bit of like pod prep for the week. I weren't going to put an episode out today. Um, I've been just doing all my prep that I do before. And then I just look at my phone and I'm like... New deal, Unai Emery. What is this? So I'm super, super happy, super chuffed. I imagine that you guys all are at home as well. So make sure you smash a like on this episode if you're as buzzing as me. Subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts. And we have a massive, massive episode out tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. It's a big one. And all our content will start after that as well. So... Up the Unai Emery, up the villa, get in there.